Do you know how to do the tasting? Do you want me to show you some of your people the, the consider the proper way to taste? I'm not going to be fussy about it because, okay, let me show you. First thing you want to do is you want to look at the wine against the white background. You know, put it at an angle, okay? You're just trying to see if the color is right, if there's any problems like, you know, bugs in cork, which would be bad, of course. Or if it's not filtered, or if you can't see through it, but nothing, nothing real serious. This color looks good to me. That's what I expect. Then what you want to do is you want to swirl the wine. Swirling the wine is just to wake it up a little bit to get some of those gases, the esters and esters, and the alcohol will start evaporating a little faster. And you're going to coat your glass a little bit, warms it up a little bit, wakes it up. And the best way to do that is on a table. Just do it like that. And just swirl it. And no, there's no proper way to swirl. If you're not good at it, it doesn't mean anything. Just swirl. Okay. And then what you want to do is get your nose in there. Okay, Nose is the most sensitive part. You smell millions of aromas. Millions of aromas. Thousands of aromas. Okay. Do you all put your nose in there? Okay. Now your nose is going to tell you more about the wine than anything. The first thing it's going to tell you about the wine is has it gone bad? Has it gone bad? Now, sometimes I'm going to say this about Italian wines. Another weird one. If a wine is sitting in a bottle for a long time, a year or two or three, and you open it up and you pour it in a glass and you immediately sniff it, a lot of times you're going to get a bad smell that will dissipate. So, and it happened today with one of these wines. It doesn't mean it's bad. It could mean it's bad. By the way, the number one cause of all wines going bad, 5% of all wines go bad because of the cork. Now, they're not much into screw top yet in Italy. That's more from New Zealand. I'm a screw top proponent. I'm very pro screw top, particularly for whites that are served young, because cork, 5% of all corks have bacteria in them, TCA. TCA ruins the wine, won't hurt you, but it turns the wine into kind of like, um, it's like mildew wet socks. Dank, wet basement. I always like to say, have you ever smelled wet tulip bulbs? Whenever I walk by a, a, a garden center, that weird sort of mildewy aroma, really not mildewy. That's what cork can do to your bottle of wine, and it just creates more confusion. With Italian wines, that's a possibility. The other one is, is literally, don't just pour wine into a glass and immediately start sipping away. Give it a little bit of time, particularly reds, okay? So this one's been in here for a while. Sniff it. And we're done, that's right. Are we doing anything else? Oh, taste, right? Oh, okay. All right. Now, no, I call it slurping in the book. I, there's a million photos of me in the book, sorry. Slurping is the official way of doing it, which is this way. Whoops, I swallowed. Why do professionals spit wine? So they're not like this.